I know a lot of my videos recently have been like quite long form, so I wanted to keep this one pretty short, uh, even though explaining it is going to be quite difficult. Um, for me, like starting YouTube, like starting creating videos and, and documenting like what I do on a day to day basis, although, you know, my. Uh, although I've been pretty poor at like being consistent with it, I do want to make more of an effort now and this is my time to make more of an effort i've been thinking like the last two weeks like obviously when i'm not being riding the bike i've been thinking about what i can do and what i can offer and being that it's it's a great time for me now because what with you know gaining a little bit more weight um because i've not been riding and my nutrition nutrition hasn't been like you know what it should be um but that's life and you know, going towards or looking towards the last part of the season, you know, September, October, and finishing really strong. I, I kind of want to, I want to document what I do more consistently for you for the for the next, you know, three four months to really show and and debunk the myth, I guess, of somebody who, you know, a lot of the times we look at like say. Here's a great example, you know, the, the World Cup's on right now, we look at like Cristiano Ronaldo, we look at Lionel Messi, we look at all these like the greatest football players on the planet, um, we tend to always see, like especially when we look at Instagram and stuff, we always tend to see like that is them, like they've always been that powerful, they've always been that successful, they've always been that good, and we never look at the, the journey they took to get there, and for me, the reason, like the number one reason for, for, for turning the camera on and talking to a camera, as strange as it looks to a lot of people, is the, it's like documenting your journey, no matter how successful or no matter how many failures you have of getting to that destination or your destination or just creating something so that when you get to wherever you want to go, you've got something to look back on and like, it's something that tells the story that you've, you know, you can never recreate. Putting my, putting my stuff out, you know, on, on YouTube and things, is really all about accountability, and there's nothing to hide from that. And like, you know, the the market decides if if you're good enough or not. So like, you know, you know if I'm being, uh, if I'm being truthful with you, you know if I'm being uh, dishonest and I'm hiding things. Uh, there's this bond that gets created between like the viewer so you guys and then and then me and particularly in the kind of the community that we're in like cycling and and cyclists like we're a very tight knit community yet i feel the professional side of it is very much kind of it's still quite old fashioned and there's not enough uh, there's not enough communication between, um, you know, the, the pro aspect and then the amateur side of it. And you know, m my videos, like, they're not going to be perfect. They're not going to be full of like, um, you know, drone footage, you know, colourful B-roll, arty shots. Like, they're not going to be full of that. Um, perfection is is in the hut. Perfection. Perfection is in the uh, in the eye of the beholder, and I think there's something quite not romantic, but something quite deep about sharing the nitty gritty and like the what could seem like the boring things, but actually they're not boring at all. They're actually the process that happens to become what you want to become, and I hope that like me showing you like the day-to-day -day things of like you know me going out training and yes i go training every single day so that could be a bore to a lot of people but there's it's obviously not boring because i keep doing it every single day and there's a lot of there's a lot of um there's a lot of routine to it like the same foods but when i eat them changes and i think we earn people's respect by showing you know the the dirty kind of stuff the stuff that you know you don't see behind behind enemy lines and I think uh, a lot of YouTube uh, channels have done a really really good job of doing this you know and I know a lot of you watch them already but in particular you know I, I like uh, I like Phil Gleiman's work um, you know the worst retirement ever I think that's like a really good um, cut between you know seriousness and, and 
on the kind of humour side. Uh, and you know, obviously he he's got a goal, and people love to follow that that goal he has of, of becoming like a Strava king, I guess. And but you know, everybody's different, and we've all got our own little personal goals. And for me, like even if you follow along this journey with me, it's like even for this short period that I'm hopefully going to be more consistent for all, like the next three months it's going to be like the, the next well yeah the next 90 days um, just focusing on you know being in the best condition I can be in obviously rehabilitating from this injury and obviously uh, getting back to full fitness um, the stuff I'm going to be now focusing on after this injury so I'm going to be doing a lot more work on my functional fitness um, I don't think it's talked about enough really but like I want to become a more well-rounded athlete so that doesn't mean just being a really good cyclist if it means I put on a kilo like in muscle but in different areas so if I want to strengthen my rotator cuff to make sure that I don't break a collarbone for example in in some bigger crashes then I'm gonna show you how I do that I'm gonna you know make sure that I show you more of my nutrition you know more of that functional stuff the training aspect of it is pretty you know self-explanatory straightforward I just take my camera out and I just explain what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis but I hope that you know it brings some kind of some kind of insight some kind of motivation some kind of uh, maybe even something that you can follow so if you if you feel like you know you've got a something to aim for in the next 90 days then maybe you can join me on that journey so this is going to be the new series of more regular content more regular uploads and just me being me please uh, let me know in the comment section if you like the sound of this bounce around your ideas because I'll be I'll be interested to hear some of them uh, so yeah that's it for now give it a thumbs up please thank you and I'll uh, and I'll see you in the next one very soon.